I have to apologize. Uh, there were a few people here who were at Pat's Hackers who've already pretty much seen this talk. Um, but I said I'd give it again a pie diff. I said also I was going to do some live coding at pie diff. Um, and then I realized that actually my laptop's recording the live stream, uh, which kind of makes it hard. And this machine has Python, but not much else. Uh, I don't need that. So I have the next best, best thing to live coding, which is poor quality GIFs that I've recorded um, <laughs> earlier on today. So uh, this is all, all came about from one of our computational data journalism students who was interested in looking at Welsh Assembly members' expenses. Um, there is a website. All this data is available. You can go and look at it. You can find out what your Assembly members are spending money on. Um, and it's there, and you can enter in things like what year you're interested, what months you're interested in, and it will give you a big list of all the expenses that the members have claimed in that time. And you can look at each individual transaction and see who it was paid to, get all references and dates and so on. Um, so the student was really interested in trying to get this data. Um, this is pretty open government, right? Because the data is available, it's there, we can go and look at it, but it's not open data because we can't actually access it in an easy way, right? It's all locked up in the website. <laughs> Boo, exactly. <laughs> Being a good student, he thinks, right, okay, can I get a spreadsheet of this data? Can I ask the assembly for this data in some sort of spreadsheet that I'll be able to read? Their response is, yes, of course you can, just submit an FOI. <laughs> Bit of a problem because the minute you submit an FOI, they've got 20 days to respond. So they're going to take 20 days to respond. Even if the, the spreadsheet sat there on the computer, it's not going to come back to us in time. So you think, all right, it's fine. It's on there. It's on the net. Let's just scrape it. Um, scraping in Python is really, really easy. There's a whole bunch of ways of doing it. This is the way I did it this time using this fantastic library called Selenium. Selenium's a library that is, it's got, um, bindings in all kinds of languages. Um, so you can run it in Java, you can run it in Python, you can run it in .NET. And it's essentially built for automating web testing. So you can automate your web browser and check that bits of your web page are showing up at the right time. So the idea is if you're building a shopping cart, you would automate a test that opened up a web browser, added something to the cart, and saw that you know the number changed to one on the shopping cart, something like that. right? Um, and it's really, really simple. These few lines of code, you have to have, I'm working in Chrome, which means I need an extra bit of software that's kind of a link between Python and um, Chrome, but that's freely downloadable. Um, and this is all you need to open up, a, open up a web browser and go to an address. Literally click play on this code, open it up, we've got a, a browser. And this is all happening automatically. So if we wanted to, say, do a search for something, it's really easy. We can just find the search box in the page send some keys to the search box and then hit enter. So if we want to search for, for Vincent, we can do that. We click play, browser opens up, goes to Google, finds the search box, enters Vincent Knight, hits enter. Okay, really easy, completely automated. We can go further than that, we can play with things on the results page. So once we've got the results page loaded up, we can do something like find the link text that says images and then click that link. Right? So we can run this code. We open up Google, enter Vincent Knight, Click images, and there we go. There he is. <laughs> Disappears a bit quickly, but yeah, I think it's an accurate representation. <laughs> and so that's exactly what we did for the assembly website. Pick the year, find all the details, go through each of the pages, pull down these links for these um, view details. And once we've got the full set, just go through one by one and pull out all the data. Um, obviously, this is, that was sped up a little bit. You know, I'm fairly responsible, so I've timed it. So there's like a three se uh, half a second delay between each request. So hopefully the server admins over at the assembly aren't getting too worried. Um, but what we end up with is <laughs> what we end up with is a lovely CSV full of data, which we can easily manipulate. Um, fully open data. So that's it. Selenium. There's an example of scraping the assembly. It's up on GitHub. Go and have a look if you want to use Selenium. Thank you very much.